Hi, I'm going to show you how I make text and border this gold foil look like I did here for my Renee and May Designs logo. Or this look here that's kind of metallic um, blue and like this minty green color that I did for this About Me slide. Let's go into File, New, let's just create a new document. I'm not too worried about the size for my tutorial. 300 resolution is if I know it's going to be printed somewhere. 72 is good if it's just going to remain digital, like on a computer. This part's important. If you think that what you're creating, like a logo, needs to be have a transparent background, this is the time to do that. Select transparent background. If you go with a white background, and then you decide, oh, I want this to be transparent. It is much harder to remove the white background and make that transparent after the fact. It's a lot easier to just start out with a transparent background. And then if you know that you want to have a white background, it's super easy. In fact, here is my background layer. That's my transparent background. And if I know that I might want not only this saved as a transparent background, but I also want to save it with a white background or some other color, I can create a new layer above that and just fill that or paint that, whatever I want it to be, and also label that as the, the background. These two layers I'm not going to be messing with. Everything that I'm going to be doing are going to be on layers above these, okay? I am gonna leave this on just for visual purposes for now. So I'm gonna create my layer above that. This is where I'm gonna be typing first what I want my, I'm gonna create a logo, what I want my logo to say. I notice that I have white selected for my font, so let's turn that to black. Now that I have that complete, I'm going to create a border around it. So I need, again, a new layer above that. I'm going to select my brush tool. You can change things with the brush up here and select different brushes from here. Um, or if you're like me and you're in the painting workspace, you might have brushes over here that you can pick from. I'm just going to grab a brush. Just This is just a tutorial. If I want straight lines, I'm going to hold my shift button while I draw those. And I let go of shift too early. All right. Now I want to make this a gold foil look. So the next step is to open up a gold foil image. Notice that it opened it in a different place, right? So I'm going to take this selection move tool and I'm going to grab it. It doesn't look like it, but I am grabbing it and dragging it over here and dropping it. So I just clicked and dragged is what I did. And notice that it's too small. So to adjust the size you need, click Command T, get it to the size that you need, and then click Enter. Now I'm gonna hide that for a second. Now I need to select my text and my border. So I'm gonna get this magic wand selection tool. I'm gonna select all of my text, including the little dot my border layer and select all of my border and now I'm going to go to my gold foil layer I'm going to turn that back on and then I go to select inverse and then click delete and you can turn those off if you want okay so 
I'm just showing you. I could turn that white background off and then I would have a transparent logo. I could turn the white on and then I have a logo with a white background. It's whichever you prefer. Let's say that I want to paint something underneath it, like, kind of like I did on that one. I don't want to do it on this background. If I want it transparent, I want to be able to turn this on and off, but the paints to still be there. So I need to make sure that I'm creating a layer, a new separate layer above this. And we can just call this like paint. Because I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grab some paint and show that I'm not. I'm just having fun with this one. And then I can paint something behind it. See, I can turn the white background off and I still have the paint there and there's my logo. Okay, you might also be asking, well, how do I make a different color? Well, let's click on our gold foil layer and go down here and select this where you can click on hue and saturation. From here, you'll be able to adjust the color, but notice that it's also changing all the layers beneath it, such as the paint, right? And if I don't want it to be affecting my paint, I only want it to affect this layer, then when I'm hovering right over this, I click this, hover over it, select all option, and then click. And notice that little arrow, it's saying, I now am only going to affect the gold foil look, that gold foil layer. And then I can adjust that however I like. Um, clicking on the gold foil layer, I like to add a drop shadow, it just helps it stand out a little more. We'll select this rectangular marquee tool. And I am gonna just select around that and I'm going to go up to image crop. I could save this with the back white background. If I did that, then I could just save this as a JPEG file would be sufficient. If I want to save it with a transparent background, turn off that white background. And when you're saving this, save it as a PNG file, okay? And click save. And I'm just going to open it and I'm gonna, I'm gonna add it to this product and show you. So I'm gonna go file, open. Find my PNG, grab that move tool, that selection tool, and you can click, and see this time you can see it's moving. And I'm going to click and drag that to where I want it, and there it is. And then Command T allows me to adjust the size of it, and this is why it's great to have that transparent background. 